Hey everyone, I'm on here doing my questions and answers vlog. I'm going to have like three kind of subtitles. The first one is going to be about me, um, and the second one's going to be the fertility questions, and the third one is going to be about my mum. <laughs> okay, so the first question about me is what, um, someone asked, what is life like in New Zealand? Well, uh, New Zealand is a really, really beautiful country. We're lucky enough not to have like, um, terribly venomous spiders and snakes and things like that so it's, we're actually a pretty safe country we do have poverty in this country um i don't think there's any country without poverty to be honest um we do see it around which is sad um but life in new zealand i think is really cruisy new zealanders have a really cruisy attitude i think um we kind of like DIYing things and just, you know, she'll be right kind of attitude, which in some some ways isn't good, but um, I love New Zealand and it's just, it's so laid back and beautiful and I really love living here. If I could go anywhere in the world and why? Well, this is a hard one because I've never been much of a, like, traveller. That's why I didn't mind having um, a baby young girl not that young but younger because I, I've never had that urge to just go traveling places you know it's like you know oh I really need to go to England or America or something you know I've never had that urge so I don't know if I had to say that I'd like to go somewhere I guess it would be over in Europe I guess um maybe go to like Greece or something uh I don't know like there's nothing that really goes wow I really want to go over there you know I guess it's not really one place I want to go to, um, maybe a bunch of places like the seven wonders of the world and you know how you get those emails that circulate at your, at, a, at your work or something and then you send them off to other people and they've got these photos of these amazing places in the world, well I'd like to go see them so they're all in lots of different countries I guess, so there's no one real country that's calling to me basically, um, but I'd love to see some of the, the crazy weird things in the world. Um, crop circles, amazing, like the Grand Canyon I'd like to see, I'd like to see um, the Aurora lights, um, these amazing, you know, glaciers and, you know, natural things I guess you could say, which are all over the world. Um, a question that I've been asked a few times is how did I get my scar? <laughs> so I don't know how many of you noticed, but see if I pull it up like that, you can see it quite well now. My scar there. Yeah. Um, that scar I've had since I was three years old and it's because a dog attacked me. That's it. Yeah. Um, I'm lucky it didn't take my eye out so it kind of went like that. So its tooth went there and the bottom tooth went there. So yeah, pretty pretty damn lucky I didn't get my eye taken out. Um, and I remember I have I have a couple of memories of being in the hospital. I do remember having those heart monitor stickies on. Um, I remember my mum taking them off me when I was ready to go home. I remember them trying to put an IV in my hand. And then I also remember getting stitches and then three days later falling down a set of stairs and busting my stitches open again. Whoops. Um, along the same lines is... Yes, I do have a lazy eye. I uh, don't know whether it is because of the damage I got from that bite or just because I have a lazy eye, but this eye is always a lot more kind of closed than the other one. And you'll notice it hard out when I am tired, like it gets worse when I'm tired. What is my natural hair colour? There. That is my natural hair colour. <laughs> it's so dark. It's crazy dark. I used to be really blonde. Like when I was a kid I was really blonde and now I'm not. This is all being coloured. Um, but when I get my hair coloured again for Stacey and Brendan's wedding, I'm going to get her to put something in more close to my natural hair colour so I don't have all this yucky regrowth. I mean underneath my hair, that's all natural pretty much. Like except that very bottom half. Because I usually only get top foils. So... That there's my natural hair colour. It's actually really quite dark. I can't believe how dark it's gotten over the years. What are the names of my next kids? <laughs> well, normally I thought I would keep my kids' names a surprise for the next ones round for the next round, but um, I'll tell you anyway because I'm probably likely to change my mind. So 
you just never know. But at the moment, for a girl, I really like the name Ella Kay. Um, I really liked the name Ella, but it's just so popular now that I was like, oh, I don't want a really popular name. Um, hence the name Roman. I mean, that's not hugely popular, so... Um, Ella Kay is spelled A-L-I-K-A-Y-E. It is apparently a lion of Madagascar. <laughs> um, and it was made, for me, it was made because Ella and K, two cute little girls' names put together and pronounced Ella Kay, A-L-I-K-A-Y-E. And for a boy, well, me and Martin have been discussing this because I, I really want a girl, so. <sighs> girls' names are easy, so. For a boy, I kind of like the name Elliot and I kind of like the name Lincoln. Lincoln or Elliot? Martin likes William. But that just reminds me of Prince William. So no. <laughs> My favorite YouTubers. Hmm. Person who asked this, are you wanting me to say you? <laughs> this is a really hard question. My favorite YouTubers. Ah. Uh, I can't say. I, I, I don't have any favorite YouTubers. Like, I love you all. <laughs> um. I guess you could say, who do I watch on a regular basis? Um, Kylan Court. I actually, I really enjoy watching her videos. Um, um, I like, uh, I watch a lot of Put and Pop. Um, me and her went, went through our pregnancies at the same time and our boys are only born two days apart. They were both born early as well and they ended up being two days apart and they seem to be hitting the same milestones at the same time which is pretty cool. So it was cool watching her from the start. Um, so many of you. I've got so many favourites that I can't actually say. Um, R and V, who is Vicky, she has been watching me from the start and like me and her backwards and forwards with messages and we've got each other on Facebook too so I've, I've um, been watching her from the start as well so she got her little twins um, now I feel like I have to name everybody I wish I didn't do that I mean there's so many of you you know who you are the ones of you who message me a lot um, and actually keep in touch with me um, Lindsay Kath who is Paris Blonde um, MM001 I think it is or whatever it is I think that's the one um, who else messages me a lot? Um, my YouTube one two three. Um, ah, oh, there's so many of you. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Um, there, there is another YouTuber in my head, but they've got a bunch of numbers, so I can't remember what you are. But you're the one who told me that I need to do something with my hair. You know who you are. <laughs> so you message a lot as well. Um, Oh, this is so difficult. Okay, I'm going to skip the rest of this question. I don't have favourites. I, I love every one of you equally. <laughs> Fertility. Right. Um, IVF is IVF free New Zealand. Yes, yes it is free New Zealand. Um, but there are strict, strict criteria to get that free, um, to get your fertility treatment free. Martin and I have had over $20,000 worth of fertility for free. Which is wonderful. I mean, when I say free, I mean, when we both work, we pay taxes. And it's taxes that pays for this fertility treatment. So technically, we've been paying for some of it, I guess. Probably not $20,000 worth. But, um, yeah, so um, Martin and I never complain about paying taxes because of that reason. We got so much fertility treatment for free. We got our IVF for free, Paragon for free. We played, paid for the Clomid ourselves because it was only 15 bucks, so that was no biggie, $15 a month. Um, how many cycles did I do? Um, I did six cycle, seven cycles of Clomiphene, six cycles of Puragon, and one cycle of IVF. And that IVF resulted in two embryos, and we used one, and we've still got one frozen. Will I do IVF again, even if it means I have the risk of OHSS? The answer is yes. If you had asked me when I had OHSS, I remember telling Martin, I'm never doing IVF again, I'll just be happy with the baby I have. But, um, you say that kind of things when you're in pain, <laughs> just like you, some people say they hate their husbands when they're in labour, <laughs> but you don't really. Um, yes, yes, even if I had the risk of getting OHSS again, I would do IVF again. Um, 
now that I've been through it, I know what to expect. Um, I know the signs, I know what to look out for. Um, I know what it feels like. Um, and with all that knowledge, yes, I would still do it again. I think it's worth it. I mean, I didn't nearly die or anything. I mean, it was quite bad, but I wasn't dying. So, you know, I think I think I can handle it and do it again if I would need to. Has my PCOS gotten better since having a baby and losing weight? Um, you'll hear the full version of this in my next video diary, 27 weeks with Roman. But um, I actually had a blood test the other day to get it all checked out. And let me just say that the news is good so check out that video for the biggest story on that <laughs> will we try naturally when we're ready big fat yes definitely um absolutely if i can conceive a baby naturally that would be absolutely wonderful um the last question and the reason i left it till last is i never mention my mum in my vlogs i always mention martin's mum julianne but i never mention my mum that's because, uh, whether I want to say this online, I don't know. Um, I love my mum, I really do, but she, I'm not going to lie to you guys, she's an alcoholic, and I don't know. Um, I moved out of home when I was 14, and went and lived with my grandparents, because um, she, the person she was living with, I didn't like very much. She wasn't a very nice person, so I shifted into my, with my grandparents when I was 14, and then... Um, she left him and I moved back with her, but she she started to go downhill quite fast and became an alcoholic and became anorexic and had depression, still does have depression, and so she's just not the same person as she used to be. And so I hardly see her and um, I do go around there every now and then just because I want Roman to have some time with her, even if he, oh this is going to sound terrible, if she were to leave this world, um, before Roman is at an age where he can remember her, at least he's had the chance, you know. I, w I want him to go around now. I want her to spend time with him um, as long as I'm there with her. And um, I, don't get me wrong, I love my mum. I really do. She's my mum. I love her to pieces. But um, it's just really hard to see her like that. Um, my brother and sister, um, that's all they know. How she is now is all they know. But I... I knew her when she was <laughs> normal and so um, it's hard but um, you know got to be strong and just she ended up in hospital the year I met I started going out with Martin she ended up in hospital and us kids had to fend for ourselves just about um, but family did step in and help us out and uh, she was in hospital just about dying she was starving herself and yeah it was really sad but um so that's why i don't really mention my mum and my vlogs because i don't really spend a lot of time with her okay so um that's all the questions so far you guys um i'll do another question and answers vlog maybe in another six months or something although if you if you have any questions you're welcome to just ask them whenever you like really okay so that's all you guys um if you've got any further questions from this video just um put them below or in my private message um box okay see you guys